That's me. Today's subject is the 250cc X-Track that we have here at TRS Motos USA. Removing the seat we see the battery, lithium ion, that's the starter button. You can see the starter components on the side of the engine. The normal TRS engine uses about 325 cc's of gearbox oil, so the electric start one about 100 cc's more. There is some oil trapped in the magneto cover. It's a oil bath magneto, which is not uncommon. Many motorcycles are like that. There you can see the small ceiling washer. It takes a while for the oil to drain out of that small hole. These are very high quality gaskets. You may find you can reuse them. I show clearly here the two gear sets. You can see there is a top and bottom starter motor mounting bolt. Some related brackets that you may need to remove or reposition. You can see that one there. If you don't put this back together correctly, then you may possibly have an electrical short circuit in this area, so pay close attention. Here we have the bolts removed from the starter. It's a tight fit in there, so it'll take a little wiggling to get it out. Now is the time to pay very close attention to the way the wiring is routed because it goes underneath the starter motor running to the ignition coil and the stator and there are some small tabs that locate the wiring. Time to take the shifting pedal off and 
the five bolts that hold the magneto cover on the engine. A sprag bearing is really common. Many mechanical devices use them. In fact, giant versions are on roller coasters to keep them from rolling backwards. You can see here I demonstrate it only goes one way. It freewheels clockwise and it catches counterclockwise. That's the actual bearing that's used in this system. Nothing special about the big Allen bolt. It is a grade 12.9 hardness. Once you take that out, you will see here that the starter drive gear there and sprag bearing and related components all come off. There's a special machined chromium bushing with a needle bearing and then the drive gear and it has the sprag bearing on the back side of it there. I show it a little closer there like I had shown previously in the photos. The sprag bearing grips the interior of the flywheel in that open area there around the exterior of the tool I show here. On the right you see the two holes to the right of the stator. The top one just keeps the oil level consistent with the oil level of the gearbox. What is below that bottom hole is actually that amount that was trapped in there that you drained out of that small bolt with the copper washer. I like to mark the end of the crankshaft. You have to clean it with some alcohol or something so the Sharpie will stick. Makes it very easy to realign when you're reassembling the magneto flywheel. little blue Loctite you don't want that coming loose and yes I use an impact give it a nice good tighten clean up my work there check that it spins freely and that it works correctly in the opposite direction here you clearly see how the sprag bearing works again these have very high quality gaskets. You may choose to replace them or possibly reuse them. You can tell when you look at them the condition they're in. Before putting the motor back in, remember to lightly grease the O-ring on the motor and be very careful about the wiring. After the motor is all bolted in position, you will notice the top gear set, one gear has finer teeth than the other and the finer toothed part goes in first and that's what actually drives from the starter motor. The second gear set, the teeth are the same size of actual teeth and it goes in there and everything meshes together. None of this rotates unless you actually are using the starter motor to start the engine. Once the engine is running, all of this sits in a stationary position. I like to put one bolt in the cover just to keep the gasket in position as I start everything. I speed this up, no point in it being at the normal speed to show you how to tighten three bolts, just snug. We'll put the 425 cc's of oil back in the gearbox. I slightly bent the end of the little funnel with a heat gun warmed it up. That way it sets real nice there in my TRS engines for refilling. 
Don't over tighten this. It has a copper washer. It just needs to be snug. Now's the time to take an, a really good look at what you've done and your work and make sure all your wires are in the correct position and rethink what you did. Did you tighten everything correctly? Did you forget anything? Couple shots of Jesse playing on the X track. These were taken in Nebraska back in June of 2019. Jesse and I here in Spain in the mountains north of Barcelona. Thank you for watching my video. This is Jim at TRS USA.